from Mojojojo Plant, and today I am planning in my big memory planner from September 16th to the 22nd. The 22nd was the first official day of fall, so we are going in with a fall spread. But first, let's get started um, with my glitter washi tape. I'm going to stick this up um, at the top here to kind of just cover up some of these areas. So I'm going to stick this right in here, and we'll just kind of go through all of the areas that I need this tape. Lay this in here is a pretty um, good calm week, just kind of finishing up all the last things before we head out on our trip. Um, and I think we got everything figured out, so we'll find out, I guess. <laughs> we shall find out. Okay, that should be good. And then I'm gonna start putting in some of the pictures that I have over on the side. So let's get those laid in here and out of the way. So that way I don't forget about them. Just gonna go in with those there. Monday was Raja's birthday, so that was pretty exciting. Um, I'm going in with Live Love Posh's Lux Fall because I haven't really even used these sticker books yet. And I chose this set. It was just really pretty and it stood out to me. So that's the set we're going to go in with um, to do our decorating. I'm going to pull out the first piece, which is this gorgeous like pumpkin floral moment. I'm going to take this and it's so hard to see where the corner is and line it up. And then I'm going to stick that right in there. And then I'll just go ahead and stick the pictures that I know that I want. Um, so I'm just going to stick those kind of in there. And then I think I'm going to offset this one just a little bit. So that way it's not like perfectly in the lines. Um, but that way it's also not covering because then took my weekly picture with Kovu, which now I'm going to start doing every 16th, every 16th of the month with Raja. Um, so I'm just going to do once a month. So switching from doing every single week, because I did every single week for a year. And then now it's kind of time to switch um, and not do that. And I had her school pictures um, on Tuesday. And then I had the pictures by like Thursday or Friday, one of those days. Um, so I was able to get it printed out. I was like, wow, that was so fast. I did just do digital because I feel like I never do anything with the ones, um, you know, that they send to you. So I was like, I'm just going to do digital. I don't really see the point of getting the physical ones because we never even send them out to anybody. Um, really the only person that might take them is my mom. But other than that, we don't really do anything with the physical ones and then at least digital, then I can print out whatever sizes I need. So kind of was just like, we'll just go with that. So I'm going to stick this picture right in here, just kind of sticking in the ones that I know that I want. I'm going in with spring boxes because it has a really pretty light blue. Um, and I just wanted to pull out like a blue sticker. So I'm going to pull out this one and then I'll probably only use like some smaller boxes. And other than that, I'm going to go in with autumn boxes to kind of get in um, some more things. So I'm going to stick that in there. That way I can kind of pull in that blue. And then in autumn boxes, I'm going to go for the tan that's in here. Um, it's like the lighter, the lighter shade. Um, or actually, I think there's an even lighter shade in neutral boxes. So let's actually do that one instead. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of a lighter and I feel like it I feel like this matches those pumpkins and stuff a little bit better. And even the darker brown, I think would be a good one too. I think I'm gonna go in with just like two long ones and only have those as my boxes. Um, so I think that's all I'm going to put in there as far as like the boxes with the lines. And then we'll go in with some smaller boxes for some of the extra details. So let's go back to that blue. I'm going to go to my box page. And then I'm just going to start pulling out some boxes for some of like the extra little details that I need to put in here. Let's see, so let's get the rest of the pictures laid down before I get too far. 
and then I forget what I'm doing because that doesn't happen very often. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm going to get that in there. And then how do I want to do... Let's do this one down at the bottom. Get some florals over on this side too because it's kind of lacking a little bit. Whoop. Ran out of tape. I buy so many of these, but it's like these are definitely my favorite ones, and I feel like they're the the cheapest. Okay. Boom, we're good. Back in action. Um let's do this one down and then maybe there's a floral that we can kind of cover it up kind of like we did on that side. Okay, so all my pictures are at least out of the way. Um, back to neutral boxes. I'm going to go in with some of the smaller boxes again to just add in some extra little detail. So let's put some of that brown shade in here. And then maybe we'll get in a little bit more of the blue as well. So that way it's not super, super, super brown heavy. Okay, now let's look at our florals. Because I feel like that's all I really need as far as functional this week. Kind of keep it calm, cool, and collected. In fall elements, there are some quotes, some fall quotes here. So I'm going to go into this book and I'm just gonna pull out a couple of fall quotes because it's officially fall so I might put one or two of these in here just to kind of get some of the fall vibes we did have like it was kind of a sweater weather week too which was really nice it was starting to get a little cooler and which I was excited for because I'm so ready to start wearing all of my sweaters. So I am here for it. Give me all the sweater weather. I'm going to put this nice big piece over here and then I'm going to layer my quote on top of it. And then again, maybe I can go in with these. Which Scissors are buried now under all the things on my desk. And I'm going to cut this in half and I'm going to kind of use these to cover up some of my areas here that don't quite reach the top. I'm going to take two different florals here. I do the same thing and kind of just layer those. I'm going to cover up that little area there. Then we do have a pumpkin. We have a little pumpkin in here. With a slightly bigger pumpkin that I might trim up a little bit because it's kind of covering part of the pictures here. So I'm going to go through with my X Acto knife and just trim these. So that way I'm not covering up parts of my pictures. I don't want it to cover up. I think that's good. That's good. Okay, it's definitely giving fall, so that's good. Fall vibes. And I'm kind of just going in with some extra little pieces. I feel like I could put one more quote, like right down there at the bottom. If I can find like a long-ish one. Ooh, even this cozy vibes. That one's nice. Cozy vibes. I can add another little floral piece in there. And then easy peasy. I feel like that's it. Pretty simple. We almost used the whole page. I have one more piece, but I don't really have space to add a whole you know another sticker so that was using Lux fall and then the quotes were from fall elements and then we mixed in some spring boxes and some neutral boxes to get 
um, some matching colors to kind of pull from those. But I think that is it, you guys. There will not be a memory planner spread next week because I will be on vacation. So when we come back, I will be doing two spreads and one video um, in a couple weeks. But there won't be a memory keeping video next week. Um, but make sure to check out my Instagram to see what this looks like all filled in and complete. I so hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye!